Hello there, friends. Danny here from Danny's Dreams with another Saturday Showcase. If you're new to my channel, Saturday Showcase is where I show all the creations that I made throughout the week. This Saturday Showcase is from uh, Saturday, October 23rd, 2021 through Friday, October 29th, 2021. And let's get started. <clears throat> First, I was excited to be a guest designer for Sweet November Stamps for their digital stamp release this last Saturday. And they released the North Pole Friends and the North Pole Friends Background Builders. I colored up this adorable polar bear. His name is North. And then this pine tree was from the background builder set and I love how it turned out. Um, I know from working at the zoo and visiting zoos that polar bears are not always just like white. A lot of times they're actually kind of a dingy yellow. So I did use some yellow with my warm grays and I just, I really love how it turned out. I struggled a bit with the blue background and the tree because every marker that I picked up was dry, but I found some that worked. And then I used a sentiment from a Craft and Kimmy stamp set and embossed it. And it just, I love how it turned out. Um, I have also remedied my problem and I ordered a whole bunch of Copic refills and for my blues and my greens. So hopefully I can continue on to make uh, more scene cards because I'm really enjoying doing those. I enjoyed owl crafting though. Who am I kidding? So this is my guest designer card for Sweet November and that was from Saturday. Again, everything will be linked below like all the blog posts so you can check out more details if you want. Next from Sunday, I have this card. My friend Christy is my also my Stamping Up demo. And she issued a sketch challenge in her newsletter. And I love sketches, so I wanted to play along. It kind of stumped me, and it was a true challenge, but in the end, I love how it turned out. I used all Stamping Up products on my card. Um, I think that they're all retired, but I have to say I absolutely love how it turned out. Normally, I'm a bright, vibrant, colorful kind of gal, like... I would always color these, but when I was putting it together, I just thought this black and white looked so striking. And I added the little rhinestones there. I don't know if you can see those. And then this is my absolute favorite ribbon. It's like um, polka dot tulle. I absolutely love it. And I just, I do, I love how it turned out, even though it did not have my vibrant colors that I normally do. And you'll have to excuse me, my allergies are kind of in full force right now. So if you hear me sniffing, I apologize. And then next, I played along with some challenges. The main one for Craft and Kimmy was to use patterned paper. Even though I only used this little sliver here, I just thought it was a nice touch. Um, you can see on her jeans, I did the uh, colorless, the Copic colorless blender um, technique where I added it to some denim and then put it on her jeans. I have a tutorial up for that and I will link that below as well. Finished it off with some self-adhesive uh, sequins from Stamping Up. The die here is a fun one. It's from Whimsy Stamps. And then um, the set is a Craft and Kemi stamp set called My Happy Place. Life happens, coffee helps. I would agree with that 110%. I, uh, although for me, I think that it's more the creamer that I like than the coffee itself. But regardless, yeah, I thought that turned out really cute and just kind of fun with just that little touch of pattern paper there. <clears throat> Next up was my post for TLC Designs. I did another interactive card. I've had this design in my head for months, so I was so happy to get it onto paper. 
I just thought it would be fun to have this little koala from the digital stamp set Festive Friends jump into the pile of leaves. And so I used the double dial two interactive die for that. And so he jumps right into those leaves in the back of, and I thought it was fun to use the cinnamon jump for joy because for me, I'm jumping for joy that cooler temperatures are here. I'm not a huge fan of summer. So autumn and winter are, well, autumn is my favorite. Then probably spring because I love seeing the spring flowers. And then winter because I just, I don't like that summer heat. So then there he is jumping into those leaves. Super fun. And then my last card for this week, um, this image is also from Crafting Kimmy. It's from the Trendy Tees set. And I also did the, uh, used the Copic Colorless Blender and made the pattern on her shirt. Um, I really love using that Colorless Blender to add details or texture. Um, I will link that tutorial down below. Super fun, super easy. And I made a mini slimline card. The dies are from Cat Scrappiness. And some paper that I've had from Whimsy Stamps several years that I haven't really known I thought it was really pretty, but I didn't know what to pair it with. So I thought it was kind of fun. It's kind of like the black and white and then just the touch of the color let that image just really pop out. And I just, excuse me, her little freckles are just adorable. And I just really like how that turned out. So those are my cards from this week. Um, super fun. I am loving being creative now that I'm not working. Um, my ankle is doing better. I have good days and bad days. Um, I think the doctor said that it probably will never be 100% pain-free, but it'll be more tolerable. Um, let's see. I think that's all I have for today. I hope to have more videos in the future. I feel like I'm kind of a, I don't know how you put it, but I have all these crafty dreams and then to actually hone them in, sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy because I have so many ideas. But I appreciate you subscribing and watching and enjoy all the fun. And we'll see where my creativity takes me since I don't have a job and I can just do fun things now. I feel like I'm rambling. I apologize. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications so you never miss a video. And go do something for yourself, whether it's getting crafty, crafty shopping, or just sit back and relax with your favorite beverage. Have an awesome day.